Hi Best Buds, it's Kathy with Kathy's Garden and I'm so happy that you've joined me today. Today is hashtag Kathy Sewing Happiness and which we'll have our drawing at the end of the video. But first let's have our shout out to Ethel, Monica's English Teaching Nook, Esprit, SM, Connie, Roxana, Vicki, Donna, Christy B, 65, Linda, Billy, and Connie. I appreciate each and every one of you. All right, you guys, I'm going to set this aside, and we'll have our drawing later. So this video is entitled Cleaning Stamps versus Removing Stains. All right, so let's bring in my stamps. So I have some stamps here. I have my block, and it's got stays on stains on that. I have stays on stains on this little fella. And these aren't too bad. Um, if they're not dark, then I have not used any stays on. If it's, uh, if it's dark like this one, I've used stays on. So let's just begin. Let's get right into this. I'm going to move this over here. And let's get one that doesn't have any stain on it to begin with. Now, to clean stamps that just have the Distress ink, the, this is Vintage Photo, it doesn't matter what color, but let's go ahead and let's put some ink on here. Alrighty, so we have some ink on here, and I'm just going to grab a piece of paper, and let's just stamp it. And there we go. So we've got ink on here, and we need to clean it up. So all you'll need to do is get yourself a toothbrush and some water and a little bit of soap, like a liquid soap. Any kind of liquid soap will work. Put a little liquid soap on your toothbrush and just massage your stamp, and it will come right off just like that. Put it in the water, rinse it off, and now your stamp is perfectly clean. You can also wash the back, and that's what happens when it doesn't stick anymore. It's got residue that is stuck to the back, and all you have to do is wash it off, get the grime off, and then it will once again stick on to your plexiglass backing. So now let's tackle the ones that have the stays on. Those are the real problems. I don't have a problem cleaning my other ones, but is it really true? Can you really get this black off? Let's give it a shot. So here's my stays on. We're going to load it up. We're going to stamp it. There it is. Okay. It's stamped on and it's put on to my stamp. Now, this is the Stays On All-Purpose Stamp Cleaner. Now, I purchased this. I put, I put it into a little container like this, and I'm just going to put some right on my stamp. I'm just going to massage it, just like this. Well, I can tell that um, nothing much is happening. Oh, maybe just a little bit. Yes, there is some dark coming off. Let me massage it a little bit more. Let's rinse it off and see. No, it's still stained. It still has stain on it. Now, Doing a little bit of research on this, I read and saw, well I didn't see anybody do this, I just read it, that if you take a brand new stamp, so this is one that is not stained at all, okay, and I'm going to put it on, you, the stays on, this is the stays on, jet black. I'm going to take this stamp and I'm going to put it right on, just like that. I'm going to stamp it off 
and I'm going to immediately, I'm going to put my stays on and see if I can get it off. I read that if you do it immediately, you can get it completely clean again. Let's just see if it's true. I don't know if it's true or not. But this is my deal here. So we're crafting along, right? We're getting really into it. I don't stop immediately and wash my stamp. I don't know. Maybe y'all do. I don't. I usually do it after a project if I'm really good. And if I'm not really good, it might be the next time I use that stamp, I go and wash it real quick. So I'm not one to... Uh, no, it, it's stained just a little bit. It, it's not as clear as it was. It's not as clear as it once was. So let's see. Here's one that's perfectly clear. And then there's the other one. Nope, see it's got stain on it. So basically, you need to wash your stamps just to keep them so they still stick to your mat. And it's just residue, you know, dust, particles wash them so they they stick to the mat they don't get all gummed up the stays on if you use the stays on it's gonna stain your stuff bottom line that's what it's supposed to do I guess I'm I'm disappointed that the the cleaner it led me to believe it led me to believe that it was going to take the black off. And it doesn't. There's there's no way it's taking the black off. I even tried it on my little plexiglass. And it, there's no taking it off. It's on there. It's on there for good. So I guess I just get another plexiglass stamp. And only use it when I use my oxide inks. Because the oxides, the Tim Holtz oxide inks... They come right off. You can clean that off with just regular old liquid soap and a little toothbrush and a little water. But if you're using the stays on, <laughs> it's staying on, that's for sure. It is there. So we're just going to have to deal with it and just get over it and move on. So I guess it just shows that we use our stamps, we love our stamps, and we love crafting. So we're not going to worry about it. So then, that's that. So, the title was Cleaning Stamps. Yes, we clean our stamps. We love clean stamps. But removing the stains? No. No, and no, and no, no, no. It's not going to happen. But who is going to win? Happy Mail this week. From me to you, as my way of paying it forward for helping me spread happiness. So that's what this is all about. If you would like to enter into the drawing, it's a weekly drawing drawn every Sunday. Make sure you enter into the most recent video of hashtag Kathy Sewing Happiness to be qualified to enter into that next Sunday's drawing. What you have to do is spread happiness, an act of kindness towards another person, letting someone in line at the grocery store. You have 10 items, they have one. Letting someone in line of traffic. It's a busy little intersection. No one's letting anybody in. Let somebody go ahead. It sure does lift my spirits when someone does it for me. This isn't going to change anybody's life, but it will make a difference in their outlook and it will lift their spirits. So let's see who wins Happy Mail from me. That's my way of paying it forward. I'm going to need your address. And so don't look at my nails. I've tried and tried and tried to get this off. I can't get it off. So, oh well, there we go. The nails are hideous. But it does not matter because we love crafting and it's not a video about doing your nails. So I'm going to need your address down below this video. Just look and see where my email is. Send me that address so I can get you out your happy mail. Here we are. Who has one happy mail? Leanne Roberts. Leanne, you have one happy mail from me to you as my way of paying it forward. You guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. 
give me a thumbs up if you have. I invite you to subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in my next video. See you there, guys. Bye now.